Hi everyone! Welcome to our exploration of the natural world through the lens of industrial ecology. So today we're diving into a fascinating story of a spe very special tree which is uh, Arithrina variegata as we call it in English. Dadak yeah? duri! So let's jump to our video! Let's go! That we want to introduce ourselves. Uh, we are from Group 4 from Industrial Engineering Class 2, Bex 2003. And my name is Hanina Salsal Matomoloidia. And my name is Karina Pasor Ronaldi Rumabea. My name is Pamudi Setiawi Tatsono. My name is Vivian Manuela. We conducted our field study on 17 June 2025, break out our campus, which is President University. And why we talk about trees? Because they hold the big secret on sustainability. And our goal was to understand the physical and ecological features of trees and how they inspire sustainable industrial practice. Let's start with the park of dodok trees. We know that from the picture, the dodok trees is real cricket in age, yeah, telling story of resilience and the sage prints from the dark brown to grease like a signature of major tropical trees. Now let's take a closer look at the leaves of dodok tree, also known as Eritrina parigeta. Yeah, from the picture, we know that they look simple, bored, and sap like oval or herd, and what we call ovate. And you can clearly see the fin of stretching from the center out of the edge, like a mini round road leaf. And the leaf module is so smooth, with no serrated edge, kind of like soft pencil catching the sunlight. Right, time for some detective work leaf identification. The dada leaf has a slightly rough texture, not sandpaper, but not but not silky either. It's like to medium green, sometimes turning yellow or brown with edge if you dare to test it, which we don't recommend. It's said to be plain or bitter, and the scent mild and earthy, kind of like green beans or morning grass. All of these features help us confirm that this leaf belongs to Artina pharyngeta. When we look up, we saw a tangled web of thin dense branches spreading out white like open arms. The trunk below was dark brown and thick steady and strong. While the branches weren't tall, they stretched flat forming a steady canopy that makes the dadap tree feel almost like a natural umbrella. It's the kind of tree that say, come sit under me and take a break. And we observation about the flower, bring red and shaped like a curving petal wrapped around the center. They almost look like little flame dancing in the wine. They don't smell strong but their color is bold enough to attract all kinds of visitors, bees, butterflies, birds, and even ants. These flowers don't just decorate the tree, they bring it to life. Founding this tree, we found useful herbs like Centella asiatica or pegagan, Tiponium blumei or Cladyticus, and Marsilea or Semanggi. Nat nature truly thrives in harmony. Talk about the animal around the tree. Ants help trees to avoid pets and ants forage on the tree, especially around the flowers and branches. Birds use as a resting or lookout point and contribute to the seed dispersal, help control insect population. Butterflies and bees pollinate the flower. Everything is interconnect so that tree growth can take place properly. It's on the result of the identification analysis of leaves, parts, specimens, forms, and flowers, it can be seen that the plant is called Eritrina variegata or dadap duri in Indonesia. So, what is this tree really? That Eritrina variegata from the Fabaceae family genus Eritrina. Around the world, it's called tiger squaw or Indian coral tree. But here in Indonesia, we know it as dadap duri, a tree with a powerful name and an even more powerful presence in its ecosystem. So in nature, even harmony comes with a little competition. The dadap tree share its space with a smaller plants like Cladyticus, Pegagan, and Semanggi. They all compete for nutrients, especially in shallow soil. During dry seasons, they battle for its water too. And then, because of dadap has a white canopy, it hogs a lot of the sunlight, but here the twist. Some of the smaller plants are shade tolerant, so while well, competition exists, so does the clever survival. So let's talk about teamwork. The dadap tree has some amazing allies. Butterflies and bees feed its own nectar, but in return, they pollinate the flower, so that's a most dualism. And then ants live in the bark and branches, and they act like the tiny bodyguards, protecting the leaves from the past, and that's another win-win, so that's a dualism. And then we have birds, they might just have chilling on a branch or just building a nest, so they are not really helping or hurting, so that's common dualism. In this tiny ecosystem, everyone plays a role, and in nature's version of teamwork history, not just pretty, but it's powerful. It improves air quality, lowers temperatures with its shade, and also enriches the soil with its nitrogen. 
industrial ecology teach us to mimic this function for a greener system. And then, the data pre also provides resources like wood for carving and light furniture, leaves for compost, and then fodder for livestock. So it's sustainable, functional, and also valuable. And then, the data pre also serves as a shelter, birds nest in its branches, ants and bees make it their home, and then butterfly visit for nectar, so it supports biodiversity like a tiny forest in itself. But it's not just for nature, it's for us too. And then the tree has educational value, it helps us understand biology, ecosystem, and also even start sustainable practices. Some scientists are even studying it for its medicinal potential, and it's a living textbook for a natural teacher. In conclusion, by studying this single tree, we discover a miniature system full of relationship, function, and inspiration. And it reminds us that even in industrial engineering, nature can guide us to innovate sustainably. Thank you for watching our presentation and then let's continue to learn from our nature, protect it and also have industrial ecology in your mind. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like for more insight from us. See you! Bye bye! bye, -bye.